Morning guys, how are we doing? I thought I was going to do a video today just to uh, show you all the stuff I've been doing today. I've got all my fishing gear, I bet you loads of you want to see it. Um, it's definitely changed since I first started uh, fishing on YouTube because uh, I didn't have this much gear. <laughs> I had bits but nowhere near as much as this. Um, just been collecting things from car boots as I've always said. Um, so I'm going to go through some of my gear while I'm in the loft sorting out. So I'll flip you around. Here we go then. So this is all my go-to stuff. These are my, it's one of the new reels and rods I got. Um, with a job lot I bought, I bought this rod and reel, this rod and reel, Michelin, and I got a spare spool for it, boosh. Old school float rod, new school float rod. Um, I got that on a job lot with two other rods for like 30 odd quid, it's crazy. So it's a good thing about buy, sell and swap sites. This rod I got from uh, car boot for ten pound emerald green match float rod. I use that for my stick float fishing. Old school Michelin reel as well. I, I can't remember I got that, but it was given to me. It's old school. Um, and it, I'm actually going to clean them up today. A bit muddy, aren't they? Um, and this is my fly rod with uh, Matt Hayes reel. That's what I got in the job lot. Um, my fly rod for all like float fishing, like for tiny fish. I don't think I've even done any video on it, but I used to do that a lot. Um, and this is a red wolf. What I got given to me ages ago. And now I've got the reel to match it. Um, but it's got two pieces, two different uh, ends, and one end's really good for what's it called, like perch fishing and stuff like that. And then this is the old school. This rod I have landed 18 pound pike on it, and I've landed a 20 pound carp on it. So, and this reel is a Shimano reel. One of my old school mates gave it to me years ago. I've had it for absolutely time now. Um, she's definitely getting a bit warm. Might need a little. Um, Service, good thing much tomorrow. I'll send it off to get service. But as you can see, a lot of my rods are ready to go. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, a lot of my rods are ready to go, like, you know. Um, because I don't want to, when I get my rods out, I don't want to be putting the line through the hole, holding the hook and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, that was for when I was stalking at the, the park lake. Jesus, focus. Yeah, this is for the park lake. When I'm stalking and just doing, you know, margin fishing, stick float fishing. This rod I don't even set up yet. I knew I love this one. Um, but again, you can see the difference in the feel in it. Oh, fucking focus. Yeah, the difference in it, you can honestly see it like even the shininess. Look at the difference in this old school. Why is it doing that? My phone's been really weird today. Um, but yeah, you can see the difference in it. You see, new school old school you see i love it but that's all my float rods and these are my spare ones what i was using when i was broke <laughs> as you can see look at this old school thing this is old school it's a heavy duty float rod yeah good it was good for me at the time you know i bought this one eBay. It's a 15 foot float rod really old school heavy thing again um, but it did the job when I needed it, you know, so I'm going to be giving them away to someone. Uh, my throwing stick, I haven't used for years. <laughs> and here's my uh, cut rods and pike rods. And the pike rod I got given to me, well, I bought it in the job lot, didn't I? With the Pound and Tesco one. But, um, so this one is my, pa my pike rod. I do use it for carp fishing as well, but I haven't used it on any of my videos yet because it's new. Um, this one I've been dying to use. My Pound and Tesco rod. Um, Rogue, what I was going to use for tent fishing. Camera, Jesus Christ. There you go, a pound and a half Tesco. Anyway, it's got a Rogue reel on it. And what's going on with my camera today? All right. Shakespeare. Uh, it's loaded up with 18 pound line. No, 12 pound line. It's pike fishing. Um, that one's the same Shimano reel, Shimano line. You can see all rigged up, ready to go lead on and everything you notice on this one i took the lead off because i didn't want to smash my rod up um and uh yeah that's my banshee rod you can see how muddy it is i didn't use this a couple of weeks ago for the lockdown i'm gonna clean them up today then give them a wash down my banshee rod cost me a tenner man it's uh matt hayes um it's just a stiff carp fishing rod um but it's good for whacking them out this is my i would call it a beach caster but it's not it's a carp rod but it's terrible it's so heavy i've caught a lot of fish with using it because i, I couldn't afford a better rod, if that makes sense. But you can see that the rig, lead's on there, everything, ready to go. But uh, I probably will be dismantling that rod and giving it away. Because it's a bit heavy, to be honest. Right, here's my nets. All my nets ready to hang to go. 
and I've got a little fold away net there for when I go like stalking and stuff and messing around. When I'm looking at my, my little travel bag and my big travel bag wrapped up there. And where else? Yeah. yeah, and there's my nets. So that's basically it for all the carp gear up here. Like all the fishing gear, not even carp gear, is it? Fishing gear. And there's all my um, nets as well. And my, uh, what's it called? Um, bivy slash bivy tent. I only used once on my YouTube channel so far. Uh, as you know, I didn't really bivy up. I don't fish any water, what you would do. Um, but yeah, these uh, my two brollies. Right, I'll go down now and show you my actual fishing gear. You know, the end time. Right, here we go then. So I'm going to show you what I would take out in a day on my river bar. You know, the ditch fishing kind of stuff I do. The little weird places and what I do when I'm going carp fishing. Um, it's all nice and tidy. Look at it. Obviously, the missus made me do it. <laughs> but now nah, I had to sort it out. It's been so bad, honestly. I've been given so much stuff from my mate Gavin um, and Rob. They just send me stuff all the time. And Steve Cottis at... Uh, lake to lake live streams is always sending me stuff man but some of the stuff i'm going to be sending off to a young kid so this is the stuff i'm sending off to him some of the stuff i just wouldn't use and stuff and i said uh so i'm gonna give it to him he's only young you know so it's good and he like fishes on rivers and stuff so a lot of little hooks and lures and stuff like that you know what i mean keep him busy in it right so let's get down to the business then. these are all the rigs that i found that i've actually made what i'm keeping they're all all fishable rigs the hooks are all fine on them um, it just shows how many rigs I make, man, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, that's not a carp fishing rig, by the way. That's just a hook. <laughs> but yeah, these are all ready to go. So this would be like my local council ponds, because they're all mono and small hooks and stuff, you see. Um, and this is obviously the bigger carp in it, you know. These are the, the wild carpies I catch in the weedy lakes and stuff like that, with the uh, braided hook links, mono hood links for the council ponds because i'm not allowed to go for 10 pound line so i've got six pound line now ready to go this is where i keep all my spare spools um from 10 pound line that is not the brand <laughs> that's the brand from all this a lot of this has been given to me so i'm very lucky these reels where they weren't though i bought these myself oh, look at that beaut look at this beaut i got given this one yesterday look at this hurricane <laughs> and I got a spare spool for it. And what is it? I think it's a John Wilson or something. Can't remember now. What is it? Oh, Shakespeare. 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 But yeah, she's good. I've got a spare spool for that one as well. So yeah, you can see it's just a, it's my pike floats. I think some of you will be amazed by my floats. This is my hook pot. Literally just hooks. That's all it is is hooks. Just loads of them in that. I'll get you some of my stick floats out. In a second. So you've got a little tube for them. So there's some of my stick floats. And you may notice a lot of my stick floats are traditional hand-painted stick floats. Not because I'm anal. <laughs> One is I can get them cheaper from car boots. And two is I just like them. That's obviously a bought one, you know what I mean? Proper shop one, proper shop one, you see? For all different types of fishing that I do. But you got to love these old school ones, don't you? That one's lush. That is a nice, nice float. These are good though. I do like these. I'm not gonna lie. I do like them. But look at that, that's sexy in there. <laughs> but yeah, so the bought ones. Uh, that's a very good bought one. I've caught a lot of fish from that. Um, so yeah, I do like my ham hated floats. Two seconds. Gonna put these back in my pot, and I'll do like a little, little pack up. Someone wants to see what I fish like, so you can see what I do. So yeah. In tubes, ready to go. I've got empty tubes because basically I'll show you now because I've got loads of different floats and different things. So I have to pull them out. You see what I mean? So look, this is the spare floats. In here, spare floats. Sorry we're rumbling around. One is I ain't got my tripod on me. It's at the gym because I'm doing all lives, trying to keep the business going. But some of the floats, <laughs> all old school quill ones. See, old school. Oh, majority of these are car boots, and my mate just gave me a load of them. I do like them because you know the traditional one there. Look at that, special. But yeah, you see, all very. That one's the only one to like a. Oh no, it's not. It's a, there we go. Some insert changeable ones, clear ones. Some of my little pole floats. Yeah, some river floats, bigger river floats. 
That one's caught me a lot of fish. This one's caught me a few as well. Look at that thing, man. I had to get it. It looks so cool. <laughs> I don't know if I ever use it, but... <laughs> and this float, I've never used it, but I want it at one point. <laughs> I like big floats sometimes to whack it out, see how far I can fish correctly with, you know? Like this one, I used to catch a lot of carp with back in the day. Just smash it out as far as I could. You only need a couple of lead shots on it because it's really weighted. And uh, I just catch a lot of fish with it. You know, it's massive. Now I'm like the opposite. I use tiny, tiny little floats. But that's just my little float thing in here. But I'll get to the knitting gritty floats in a minute. <laughs> like, this guy's mad, isn't he? He's flake mad. I am flake mad. All right. This is my like go-to stuff, what I'm going to take when I go fishing. So... Where is it? Hmm, so strange. Two seconds. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where is it? My like, these are my feeders. This is what I take out most of the time I go fishing. Obviously some red robin pellet. <laughs> Always need pellet. Four sips. And what I'll do is I'll do a little pack bag in a minute anyway to show you what I would take on a little session. But here's some more floats. These are my go-to floats. The floats that I take up every day with me. Every day. Whatever you do, just don't ask my name, the names from. <laughs> Look, I put some stuff in here to stop them shaking around. So I didn't want them fanging around and knocking the paint off because a lot of them are hand-painted. So I want to respect my floats, you know. Right. here we go. Look at some of these. They're beautiful. Them I've got cheap online. They're actually really good for margin fishing. Like a pole fig. Yes, a pole fig. Yes. Some awesome little floats. We love little floats. Look at this. Oh, this one's even sexier. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I'm sad on it. But now, for tench fishing and stuff, I do like these ones. But this one, look at that. Beautiful. Little fat body, fin tip. But yeah, these are just the type of floats that I'd be actually using when I go tench fishing. Old school quill ones, as you can see, he's got the curve in it. I normally tell the quill ones because that got a real curvature in it. But yeah, so just old school little floats. Oh, I, like, I always take this one with me. Do love them. But even near the bought ones, that's a very good little float. They do, they do work well. Look at this one. Beauty. Absolute beauty. I'm sad, aren't I? But that's, that is like one of my favourite floats. Small, light. I didn't cast far. Works perfect. And also, I've got all my stuff for unhooking fish in here as well. Put it back in there because you hear them rattling around, you see? I don't like them rattling around because I don't want to break the paint job on them. So, what I do is I put some bags in there with some tubing. Just to put it like that. And I'll put that in there. That in there. Because you imagine some of the stuff I've got to do miles now. And the bags just get shoved around. Oh, two seconds. Sorry, guys. There we go. Sorry, I keep going black on you. I right, edit that out. But there we go. See, like some ringers. I've actually got given them. I've never used them yet. I ain't caught any fish on them. All my boilies that I get off people. When I see, well, you wouldn't know this, but when I fish with my mates, they've got boilies. I like just give me a couple, and I put them in a sealed container, and I use them for whenever I want. Never feed. They're just hook baits. So my pop ups. These are krill dipped maggots. Loads of stuff, like it's all fake stuff. That is the main thing I take out me all the time. Here and here, all my hook links. I will go through in a minute. But this is my main hook jar. This is the float fishing. Like I wouldn't go anywhere without this stuff. Anywhere. Other rigs, who care? Without this, I can't tie any rigs. So to me, this is the most important part of my gear with my floats. So this is why it's up here, so it's ready to go. Bitty, bitty, bitty bits. These are, um, as you can see, float stops, leads, everything. Get up, just have a little look on that. You see what I carry. But yeah, you can see that. And this is all stuff people give me, by the way. 
A lot of this is all stuff give, give me a hand clamp shop and bought it all. Um, all the tubing and that's been given to me, all these bits have been given to me. I just tied it up a little bit, making a better tub, like so. Um, here's my pike traces. Um, I'll show you my lures in a minute as well. But let's go for some cart rigs. This is my big rig box. Just gonna flip you around for a second so you're not looking at black in it. So my rigs, you see, much bigger rigs than than what you'd normally see me rig, uh, use. A lot of this stuff is for like I've had them tied for some of them like to six, seven months. Because purely, like say this one, I tied this for the for multi rig. I tied it for the little um, private lake. You see, it's got a stiff hinge. I'm fishing over weed. So yeah, you can see like some of the gear that I'm using, these rigs stay in this box basically. They never come out, only for like real, real high pressured fish basically. <laughs> and fish that are worth using like a size six on and stuff, you know what I mean? Like this one's just a simple coat of braid. But most of them are D-rigs on here. Oh, I better take that off. The D's come off, I took the D off. But yeah, just a simple rigs. There you go, let's get one out. There you go. Still got the bait on it. I don't know where to get that out. No, it's stuck, look. But yeah, you can see that. D rig. I'll just keep it tied down. Right. So yeah, this, these are my big, big carp rigs. Like this is the stuff I would use at the park, um, the private lake and stuff like that, you see. Very simple rigs. I better get one off and I'm just saying all this stuff and you can't even see. So yeah, basic rig, basic rig. So there you go, look. See, a bit of tubing, I can move that up and down to adjust the hair. Coated braid. I'd be on a heli rig in weed. That would be the sketch. Or D rig on a pop up, one or the other. All right, that way. So yeah, that's all my bits, and this is full of rigs as well, but purely for uh, carp fish, uh, perch fishing. As you see, the different types of rigs I'm going from. You see some simple coated braid. These are like what small hook rigs. This is for the park lake and stuff like that. I'm not actually coated braid. <coughs> On my pike floats, on my bits, and I do a little pack bag in a minute. I put this over there so the light doesn't get into the my boily tub and dry them out. But you see, I've got some cheap flavouring. I didn't spend money on that stuff. All cheap. So um, I've got these on deals. It's like free for a fiver and stuff. But anyway, right. So now let's have a little look down here. What's going on down there? It's all my lights, basically, little lead shots and stuff. All being given to me again. See, pike gear. This is the jewels. Look, this is given to me by Steve, and this bloody lure has caught me so many fish in the little ditch. It's unbelievable. This one I've had years, never even caught anything on it. Don't know why. Just probably the time of fishing with it, maybe. Don't know. Like little spinners. And my little plastic pop up uh, flu, flu bloody things, you know what I'm about. And these are my jellies. Like jelly lures, all with hooks already in. And up down, up down. I don't really like spinners, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really having much success with spinners. Again, probably because I don't fish with them that much. But look at this. You know, why have you got floats in there? These are snapped floats. I break bits off and I stick them in fish sometimes to float, make the fish pop up if I'm using a dead bait. But, you see this rig. This one I've been used a lot. See, my mate Rob gave me some of these as well. That my little jellies, little fake maggots, and uh, where's the oh, this bad boy? Whoosh! The crayfish. 
So yeah, some flies, just hooks and rigs and stuff like that in there. Bing bang bosh. What's in here? What's in here, mate? What's in here? Boosh feeders. <laughs> A lot of these I have had years, man. You can see from old school, the size of that thing, man. Yeah, uh, new school. You see what I mean? Old school. No. Maybe the old school ones, because they're like. That new school. He's heavy, though. He heavy. Big feeders. Metal feeders. Maggot tabs. You see the works. And here's the lead top. <laughs> My leads. I've got a lot of leads, like three ounce leads. Parax stone, stuff like that. All good in the hood. All right, so basically that is the pike gear and all my fishing gear, guys. As you can see, I've still got some pike floats in that in there. My stick floats in there. All right, so what I'll do is now, I'll quickly shake you. All right, so what I'll be doing is, in the back, in the front, easy accessible. Hooks in the front, easy accessible. No scales in the back. With the forceps in the back. In the main compartment. Sometimes to make sure these didn't open, I sometimes put tape on them. So I've had it before and exploded in my bag, and then you're like, no, dissolvable foam. The floats, the jewels in the back. Or I could put them in the front, depends, don't I? Do I need these? It depends on what type of fishing I'm going float fishing like I normally do. Don't need these. But if I'm going float fishing, I do take this. Oh, what about this? And this is my other emergency pack. It's food everywhere in me. Starlights. Scissors. Leads. Half ounce, quarter ounce leads, running leads, small leads, PVA bags, my spreader block for my big, big proper carp net that I haven't got to use yet. PVA string. Then this is the rig box. But well, I see rig box, not it's my weight box, and just my emergency stuff. And I'll show you my emergency lure box. I say emergency, I mean like when I just pop out, I haven't got time to like set up in that. This all goes in there. Solvable foam. Can't go back, solvable foam. Scissors, humdinger. Two sets. My little go-to float um, lure box. I've had this for years. I've caught a lot of fish on it. You can put a treble underneath if you do miss any. But this is my, like, if I was going to the gym and I was doing a little bit of lure fish on the way to the gym, this is what I'm taking with me. You might notice what's coming out in a minute. This thing is, like, famous. Look at it. Savage B. My most expensive lure. I spent £6 on this. That is amazing. If you've seen any of my lure fishing videos when they go for the surface, oh, my gosh. This boy. Oh, amazing lure. All right, I haven't caught any fish on this yet, but she's new. I tried it with perch, with fluorocarbon, didn't work. But, you can see I stick the hook in there, because I don't like her dragging the bottom sometimes. But a little tiny lure. But this is what I just take with me, like basically. I just, for I'm going like to the gym and stuff, because obviously I've got little ditches by me. So I just take this with me, with a little fly rod or the float rod. And just pull some little perch out, a uh, little perch, little pike out. Ain't gonna go back in there now, is it? Cool little tub. My mate bought me a clipper for Christmas about 10 years ago and I kept the tub. <laughs> and this is what connects all my, my nets to my bag. All right, two sets. It's making me want to go fishing, guys. <laughs> you know what I do is I stick this in the main bit. Catapult. Can't go anywhere about the catapult, man. 
always need it when you don't got it. We could take some of them, but with we'll today, we'll pack some boilies up just for the sake of it. And for the fella, got my floats in there, and I, yeah, feeders in the front, or in that space. Obviously, I'll take one rod, one net, spare one, stay there. So that bag packed, <laughs> we're ready to go. Bag packed, ready to go. Check the pallet in. Two seconds. Simple as that, and that's about 10 kilo, nah, about seven, five to seven kilos. I lift up one thing, so. And, man, see, boom. Little rod rest, and obviously I can change that to, boom. So there we go, she's ready to go, literally that easy. It's how quick I get my gear going, and obviously there's my big cup net. It's not in the loft yet. And uh, you see my float, I'll just grab a float rod and a net, and there we go. All right, hope you, you, you enjoyed that. It's a little bit different today. This is just going through all my stuff, and I thought, oh, I better show people. Oh, two sacks. Line. You can never have too much line. I've got sea fishing line, I've got 12 pound line, I've got bio sensor, it's probably the best I love. I've got six pound line, I've got 15 pound line. I've got so much line, it's unbelievable. But do you know what? I never have to buy line again. This line is going to last me years. Some big lures that I don't use. Uh, they're going up in the loft. Some more stuff like that. I've got some guru line. Stuff. Oh, yeah. tiger minnow. We'll put that out. We'll save that for a rainy day, innit? Eh? But yeah, so all this stuff is just basic, really. Like all my old school stuff. It's a big, big old school Shimano reel and FSC fishing. Old spawn that I've never ever used. Some swingers. So this is going up in the loft. For like a, uh, for just, just all my line and that, you know. Shimano. Right. See? Um, so yeah, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I've been using today. Oh, using today, but using all the time, basically. And uh, you don't have to have loads of gear. As you see, that will give me a lot of fish. I can go out for days for that man. I've got a handful, I've got loads of pellets I can put in a corner there if I want to. There's a couple of days fishing man. Um, and I've got my bigger bag, but it's getting washed. You know, the one I carry on my shoulder. But that's the one I take mainly. You see on me on the rivers and that kind of stuff, that is the bag I take. Even when I'm going out stalking around the little lake, that's what I take with me. Obviously my tripod, my net, and a rod. Maybe two of them two rods, but one rod at the moment, uh, recently, is it? But there we go then guys. Keeping positive, guys. Don't get lost in the um, craziness. I know it's boring. I'm bored. But I'm getting really good at the Xbox. <laughs> Playing Yori fishing. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We've just got to keep on pushing forward. And hopefully in a couple of, well, it's probably about a month, in it? month and a half, we'll be able to go out fishing, boys. I'm missing it. Right, anyway, bing, bang, bosh. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.